Seja bem-vindo à nossa aula 38. Para você fazer o download do material desta aula em PDF MP3, basta acessar a descrição deste vídeo, aqui embaixo. Se você estiver no site AID, aqui embaixo também eu vou deixar o link na descrição para você fazer o download. Lembrando que toda segunda-feira às 8 horas da noite, eu estou postando vídeo novo aqui no canal. Portanto, se você não é inscrito ainda, inscreva-se, clique em gostei, comente e compartilhe esse vídeo com seus amigos. Vamos lá! Brazil is a country on the continent of South America. Brazil is a country on the continent of South America. Brazil is a country on the continent of South America. The United States is a country on the continent of North America. The United States is a country on the continent of North America. The United States is a country on the continent of North America. This continent is Africa. This continent is Africa. This continent is Africa. This continent is Europe. This continent is Europe. This continent is Europe. This is a wedding in Africa. This is a wedding in Africa. This is a wedding in Africa. This is a funeral in Asia. This is a funeral in Asia. This is a funeral in Asia. She's watching a movie about families in Africa. She's watching a movie about families in Africa. She's watching a movie about families in Africa. This book is about sailboats. This book is about sailboats. This book is about sailboats. She's at work, but she's thinking about her family. She's at work, but she's thinking about her family. She's at work, but she's thinking about her family. He's thinking about her grandparents. He's thinking about her grandparents. He's thinking about her grandparents. I'm thinking about my wife. I'm thinking about my wife. I'm thinking about my wife. I'm thinking about my wedding next month. I'm thinking about my wedding next month. I'm thinking about my wedding next month. My grandfather was born in 1901. My grandfather was born in 1901. My grandfather was born in 1901.
He married my grandmother in 1922. He married my grandmother in 1922. He married my grandmother in 1922. He lived in France for 52 years. He lived in France for 52 years. He lived in France for 52 years. He died in 1983. He died in 1983. He died in 1983. When are you getting married? When are you getting married? When are you getting married? We're getting married in July. We're getting married in July. We're getting married in July. This animal was born in Australia. This animal was born in Australia. This animal was born in Australia. This man died in Antarctica. This man died in Antarctica. This man died in Antarctica. I'm getting married today. I'm getting married today. I'm getting married today. Congratulations on your wedding. Congratulations on your wedding. Congratulations on your wedding. My grandmother died last month. My grandmother died last month. My grandmother died last month. You have my condolences. You have my condolences. You have my condolences. I hope I catch this ball. I hope I catch this ball. I hope I catch this ball. I didn't catch the ball. I didn't catch the ball. I didn't catch the ball. We hope our team wins. We hope our team wins. We hope our team wins. Our team lost. Our team lost. Our team lost. She will marry him. She will marry him. She will marry him. My grandmother got married one hundred years ago in Africa. My grandmother got married one hundred years ago in Africa. My grandmother got married one hundred years ago in Africa.
I was born 15 years ago in South America. I was born 15 years ago in South America. I was born 15 years ago in South America. People from Europe sailed to North America 500 years ago. People from Europe sailed to North America 500 years ago. People from Europe sailed to North America 500 years ago. They have been married for 25 years. They have been married for 25 years. They have been married for 25 years. They have been living in Australia for five years. They have been living in Australia for five years. They have been living in Australia for five years. How long have you been studying English? How long have you been studying English? How long have you been studying English? I have been studying English for seven months. I have been studying English for seven months. I have been studying English for seven months. They will build this hospital in Asia. They will build this hospital in Asia. They will build this hospital in Asia. How long have you been building this school? How long have you been building this school? How long have you been building this school? We have been building this school for a year. We have been building this school for a year. We have been building this school for a year. We finished building this school a month ago. We finished building this school a month ago. We finished building this school a month ago. We hope we will finish building it before the baby is born. We hope we will finish building it before the baby is born. We hope we will finish building it before the baby is born. He finished cleaning his room 10 minutes ago. Now he's playing with his toys. He finished cleaning his room 10 minutes ago. Now he's playing with his toys. He finished cleaning his room 10 minutes ago. Now he's playing with his toys. They will get married soon. They will get married soon. They will get married soon. They're already married. They're already married. They're already married.
Will you finish cleaning the kitchen soon? Will you finish cleaning the kitchen soon? Will you finish cleaning the kitchen soon? Preste atenção nessa dica aqui importantíssima. Você viu que no exemplo, my grandfather was born in 1901. Eu falei 1901 e não 1901, que seria o correto. Isso porque em inglês, quando nós referirmos a anos especificamente, quando tiver o zero, por exemplo, 1901, 1906, 1806, 1708, que tiver o zero, nós usamos ou no lugar do zero. E a contagem do ano, por exemplo, até os dois primeiros dígitos, se, uh, se pronuncia exatamente como o nosso 17, 16, 15. Por exemplo, a 1901, eu, eu falo 1901, que seria né? uh, em inglês. A 1702, eu falo 1702. Então, por isso que eu falei aqui, ó, my grandfather was born in 19, por isso que eu usei 19, ok? Então, voltando lá, no lugar do zero, ou, e depois eu digo o número aí que tiver depois do zero, se, sendo ele de 1 até 9, é claro, né? Então, 1901, ou 1906, ou 1808, por exemplo, tá? Porém, já se falando de número especificamente, então, eu não posso usar esse esquema. Esse esquema é usado apenas para anos. Portanto, esse exemplo abaixo, I have 1901 pens. Eu tenho 1901 canetas. Então, para anos, se usa ou, no, ou. Ele tem o no. Por quê? Porque... Em inglês, se junta as palavras. A maioria das palavras em inglês junta o final com o começo. Se tiver o N, o O fica no. Então, 1901. Então, você já sabe, resumindo, para anos. Tem um zero lá no ano? Tem. Então, vamos pronunciar o número, no, e o número. O e o número. Então, sendo 1901, 1906... 18 ou 8, é o, o que, que for. E para números especificamente, estou me referindo a números de verdade, não a anos. Então, eu vou falar o correto que deve se pronunciar. 1901. Então, é isso, Jackson Roger. Para você baixar a aula em PDF o áudio em MP3, basta acessar aqui a descrição deste vídeo. Lembrando que o meu Instagram também está aqui para você me seguir e o meu Facebook para você me adicionar no Facebook. Inscreva-se no canal, cara, você não é inscrito ainda. E, galerinha, recomende, por favor, esse vídeo ao seu amigo, aquele seu amiguinho lá que também quer estudar inglês, seu primo, sua irmã, sua tia, sua avó, seu pai... Qualquer pessoa, recomende esse canal. Fala, ó, oh, esse canal aqui é muito bacana para aprender inglês. Aprende aí, inscreva-se no canal dele, porque se você faz isso, você vai ajudar e muito ah, o nosso trabalho aqui no YouTube. E também nós, nos sentir, nós vamos nos sentir, é claro, ah, motivados aí a gravar mais videoaulas para vocês. Então é isso. Se você gostou, deixa o seu like aqui, compartilhe. Tamo junto! É nóis! Então é isso, pessoal. Aguarde o próximo vídeo. Não esqueça de clicar em gostei, compartilhe esse vídeo e comenta e deixa o seu comentário. Ah, inscreva-se no canal, alright? Acesse o site aulasdeinglesgratis.net e segue aí no Twitter e curta nossa página no Facebook. Tem de novo aí, galera. Clica aqui.